It looks like a Ferrari, but hails from rural Bavaria, the Glass GT. Enthusiast Uwe Gusen owns two of these rare vehicles, the 1700 GT Coupe and the 1300 GT Convertible. Since his youth, he's been a fan of the sporty models created by car developer Hans Glass. Gusen says he really likes cars by Glass, especially this 1300 GT here. It was introduced in 1963 and Gusen says even as a young boy, he was thrilled by its great shape and high performance, and he still is today. The convertible's 1.3-liter engine produces 85 horsepower. Goosen tells us that half a century ago, Glass was a small company operating in Lower Bavaria, and a handful of technicians were involved in making cars like this. He thinks it was a great feat for the time. Its Italian-designed, powerful engine and sporty suspension could have made the Glass GT into a bestseller, but its humble lineage put the brakes on any dreams of grandeur. Hans Glass produced farm machinery before moving on to scooters and small cars like the Gogomobile. The Glass GT could never quite shake its rural roots. Uwe Gusen tells us that the car was presented at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1963. The body was produced in Italy by Pietro Frua and then assembled in Bavaria. He notes that the bumpers at the front had to be fitted individually, as did the doors, because the body was essentially custom made for each car. That's why the doors and the bumpers were numbered. Kusin really likes the car's lines, especially the sloping curve at the rear. He thinks it gives the car a sporty flair, and the two taillights on either side highlight its Italian style. The Glass GT looks fast and goes like the wind. In the early 1960s, it was one of the few German-made sports cars around. This Glass GT fan loves to drive the car on curvy country roads best because it's so much fun. He says the 1700 GT accelerates very well, going from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in around 10 seconds, which was pretty good for its time. The car's top speed is 186 kilometers an hour, which he feels is pretty amazing for a car built in 1965. Goosen says the car has a very special engine, a four-cylinder with a timing belt drive and overhead cams. The timing belt drive was first used in a Glass 04 in 1961, and he says it was the first series production engine to use this drive mechanism. The GT is not just fun to drive, it's also very reliable. Uwe Goosen used to drive it to work every day. It's a real sports car, Goosen says, one in which you can feel a real connection to the road and which takes curves very well. The GT has a sports car engine. You need to warm it up a bit and then it'll give you lots of pleasure. That was the GT Coupe, Goosen says, and now he shows us something really special, the Glass GT 1300 convertible. Just 363 of them were ever made, whereas 5,000 of the coupes were produced. It's a jewel of a car, he says. Otherwise, the vehicles were identical, and both were available with either a 1300 or 1700 engine. They were both so nice, he couldn't choose between the two, so he bought both. Glass GTs in good condition sell for between 20 and 30,000 euros. Goosen says anyone wanting to purchase a glass should really make sure the body is in good shape, as having the car painted or sheet metal work done is very costly. Just tracking down a glass GT is a feat in itself. They're rare, as the glass firm was taken over by BMW in 1966.